بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Dear viewers, today I will talk about one or two things relating to fasting. Firstly, it is Sufur, and secondly, it is uh, forgetfulness during fasting. Sufur is the meals which we take before dawn when we intend to observe fast for the whole of the next day. Uh, the Jews used not to take suhoor or morning meals. Their fast was from uh, sunset to sunset, 24 hours fast. Islam did not allow that. Among the Arabs also, it was a custom that when the people took their dinner, that was known to be before. After having dinner, they would not eat anything till the sun set next day. Islam said, no. Keep on taking till the dawn. Uh, there's a tradition. And Anas bin Malik radiyallahu anhu قال قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم تسحروا فإن في السحور بركة Narrated Anas bin Malik May Allah be pleased with him The Prophet peace be upon him said Take suhoor as there is a blessing in it Actually suhoor is a meal which is a blessed one. There are spiritual benefits of taking suhoor. And one of the best benefits is that one gets up too early in the morning and that is the best time of praying unto Allah the Almighty. After midnight, before dawn, one keeps awake, recites the Quran and prays to Allah the Almighty. That is a great boon. Here I must mention sometimes uh, the young people do not know it and they miss their fasts. If there is a gentleman who needs uh, to take bath and he has got up late. Now if he takes bath, he cannot take suhoor. And if he takes suhoor, he cannot take a bath. Then he is confused. Then he firstly takes bath and avoids suhoor. That's wrong. There are many traditions of the Prophet, peace be upon him, the Prophet, peace be upon him, was in the need of having bath. A bath which one takes after performing sexual act. He used to be in need of taking bath, but before taking bath, he would prefer to take suhoor if the time was short. So one can take suhoor and observe fast and even after azan and call of morning prayers he can go and have a bath and go to the morning prayer. There is a common misunderstanding so please be clear about it. You should not avoid your suhoor and morning meals. Have your morning meals because you can have morning meals after azan. So have morning meals and you can have your Compulsory bath after azan of morning prayers, after the call of morning prayers. And another thing, if a young person has got nightfall after the morning prayer, at daytime when he's fasting and he is in a need of compulsory bath, that doesn't mean that his fast is wasted, he's broken his fast. No. Anything which is beyond his power, unintentional, I feel